I'm going to work with a size 9 millimeter crochet hook and two strands of worsted weight yarn. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch to join in the first chain to form a ring. Chain two. Carrying the yarn end along the outside of the ring. Twelve double crochet in the ring. Slip stitch to join. Now you can pull on this yarn end and close up that hole. Chain two and turn. Make two double crochet in every second stitch around. Because this chain two took the place of the first stitch, I'm going to make two double crochet. So two double crochet in every second stitch around. So that's one double crochet, two double crochet. One double crochet, two double crochets. One, two. Now you're going to continue all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Chain two and turn. Make two double crochet in each stitch around. One, two. And because this chain two is equivalent to the first double crochet, you should either make one double crochet in here, but I like to do it at the end. So when I reach the end, I'll make one double crochet in that stitch. So two double crochet in every stitch around. Like that, two double crochet in every stitch all the way around. Okay, I've made two double crochet in each stitch around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. And this will be the bottom of the bag. And I've worked this much of the bag, which is to here. So I'm now going to do again two double crocheting each stitch around. And then after I do this next row, then I'm just going to do three rows, and then I'm going to reduce for the top of the bag. Okay, I've completed the next row, and you can see we have this rippling effect. So now I'm just going to double crochet in each stitch around for two more rows. No more increase. Okay, so I've done two more rows of double crochet. So that's this section. And now I'm going to bring back in and start decreasing. I'm going to skip every second stitch across the row. Okay, so I'm going to double crochet in every second stitch around. So double crochet, skip, double crochet. like that. So I'm going to go off camera and do that. Okay, so I've done that row of double crochet in every second stitch around. So now I'm going to do three rows of just plain double crochet in every stitch around. Okay, so I have completed the remainder of the rows. And if you wanted a deeper bag, you could just add more rows. Now I'm going to show you how to line this bag. Okay, to line your bag, you could use an old blouse or an old t-shirt, or you could even use an old scarf. For the least number of seams, what you're going to do is place it on the fold. This is the fold, so place it on the fold. And then you're just going to cut with your scissors, cut around approximately an inch larger than the bag and an inch larger up here as well. And after you can cut that out, you're going to sew those two seams, and you could even do that by hand. And then inside the bag, just fold it down and stitch it across. Click here for a video on how to make these round bag handles. Click here to find out how to make these bag handles. Click here for a video on how to make the matching hat.